Yo, what's good? Welcome to the channel. I'm Josh and today I'm going to show you how I remade Midwest song Made It Back. This beat is pretty simple overall, kind of similar to all the yeet rage type stuff going on right now. Really what separates people in these beats is the sound selection, the melodies, and the pocket of the drums. To start with the melodies, got some basic saw chords going on. Added a little shaper box to give it that futuristic type bob. And then we got this little lead sound going on. What makes this sound cool is this little LFO on the pitch. And so if you're in Serum, what you would do is just make this LFO shape, go to this matrix and assign the LFO to the master tune and then mess with the amount. Now, if you don't have Serum and want to make this in another synthesizer, all you would do, make sure to just get a little triangle wave and then automate the pitch bend to go up. Also make sure to make it mono and turn up the portamento to give it that glidey type effect. Next, I move to the bass. For the start of the song, it's just a basic little saw bass filtered out a little bit, but what makes it cool is adding this little noise on top. Here's with. Then we got some basic effects going on, a little hyper dimension, a little distortion, and then some multiband compression, just to give it that really crispy sound. Then for the main 808, you just want to find a basic Zay or Pierre type 808. Next we got the drums. It's going to blow your mind when you see these. Revolutionary hi-hat. Super unique clap. Even more unique snare. And this one's actually kind of unique, but only because I pitched it down. One of the things they did for this beat that I thought was kind of cool was a little arrangement trick right before the beat drop. This is what it sounds like on the song. All they did here was just basically take out some of these drum sounds right here, then add some transitional sounds like this reverse crash right before the clap, then filtering out all the melodies right before the drop. This is something really cool to experiment with right before your beat drops, just to give it that feeling of tension and release. Then we got some basic mastering going on, throw in a little saturator, a little soft clip, maybe a limiter if you're feeling up to it. That's it. If you've been following along, it should sound a little something like this. Appreciate you for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I post videos in here every week. Would really appreciate it. Regardless of anything though, keep vibing, making dope music, and I'll see you next time. Love you.